you want to talk about Spring Hill? Hell yeah, I do. So today we're going to be talking about moving to Spring Hill, Tennessee. Spring Hill back in the 90s only had 1,400 people in the town. Now, 30 years later, there's around 40 to 45,000 people. So there's been rapid growth in the last 30 years, which brings struggles and its benefits too. That's right, Spring Hill is not exempt from its fair share of controversy. In fact, back in 2018, one of the main controversies that struck this city was the fight between a historic silo and bringing the Lord's Chicken, Chick-fil-A, into our backyard. Well, Chick-fil-A won. Rest in peace, Silo. Okay, so maybe the words controversy and Spring Hill don't quite go together, but there is one looming issue in Spring Hill. As you can imagine, with the rapid growth that Spring Hill's experienced in the last 30 years, the infrastructure has had trouble keeping up. So, for most people that are commuting to Nashville or Franklin, sometimes that can turn into an issue. However, the city has an amazing plan to add an interchange at I-65, which is gonna help relieve a ton of traffic and provide a lot of opportunities for the citizens of Spring Hill. So let's talk about why Spring Hill has experienced the rapid growth in the last 30 years. Spring Hill is a family-friendly community. It's often referred to as a commuter town because it's located only 30 miles south of Nashville. Families tend to settle here because the median home price is about $450,000, making it easy for young families to settle in and call Spring Hill home. And while we're on the topic of families, let's talk about two key factors that any family looks at when considering a move to an area, school district and activities for the entire family. For school district, Spring Hill is broken up into Williamson and Murray County. And to tell you the truth, you really can't go wrong with any school in Spring Hill. And if you're looking for something fun to do on the weekend with the family, check out Harvey Park or the park at Port Royal. It's got a splash pad, it's got walking trails, basketball courts, anything that you would want for your family to hang out on the weekend. Spring Hill has a great variety of both restaurants and coffee shops alike. So let's talk about coffee shops for a minute. We've got Just Love, we have The Fainting Goat, and we also have Legacy Coffee at the south side of Spring Hill. And if you're looking for fantastic places to eat, some of the best pizza you'll ever have is at Viking Pizza. Also great restaurants like Mockingbird Restaurant, uh, 55 South, Martin's Barbecue. And if you're from California and worried that you're gonna miss out on fantastic Mexican food, try Cali Burrito in La Via Taqueria. There's also no shortage of great shopping areas here too. One of the popular areas is called The Crossings, which has all of your commercialized places like Target, Home Goods, Kohl's, Bath and Body Works. And then you've also got the boutique stores like Vintage 615 and Casey Joe's that you have to be sure and check out. So Spring Hill is a special place. What used to be known as a sleepy little farm town has captured our hearts and we know it will yours too. Make sure you go ahead and click like and subscribe while you're at it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for watching and have a great day.